The organization is supporting delirium screening to enhance our clinician's knowledge on how to identify uh, delirium within our elderly population. At St. Joseph's Care Group, a uh, majority of our clients, tenants and residents are over the age of 65 and we felt strongly that this is an area we need to support our clinicians and ultimately our clients uh, in uh, working with them and identifying if they have delirium versus dementia or depression. With each new admission or transfer 65 years or older to my unit, we do a CAM screen and it is completed within 48 hours. Feature guidelines are placed in the client's card X as well as a reference and a reminder that daily screening is required. As a champion, we are available to all staff for support and also to ensure that non-pharmacological interventions are followed to prevent delay. If the CAM is positive, indicating there is an evidence of delirium, I will notify the most responsible physician, place an order set on the client's chart and CAM visuals on the client's whiteboard and full board as a way to communicate to the, my colleagues that the client has screened positive. When a client is CAM positive, they will be discussed in morning huddles with the interprofessional team uh, to develop a plan of care using non-pharmacological interventions and physician's guidance. Daily screens will continue until the client screens negative and visual reminders can then be removed. To help prevent delirium, I assess my clients in their environment to ensure that it is accessible and barrier free. I also work with the interdisciplinary team by providing input into behavioral management strategies or principles uh, just to help care for agitated clients. And if clients require reading glasses or hearing aids, then I would ensure that they have those available to them. The responsibility of the champion is to ensure education to new, uh, new staff that are on the unit. We encourage fluid intake. If their water jug is empty, we will refill it so that they can prevent dehydration and in turn delirium. I also provide family members with education about delirium and its management. By helping my clients out of bed and taking them to the washroom and commode on a regular basis. By working with clients on meaningful activities as prescribed by the occupational therapist. For example, reviewing the date and place, getting dressed, reading the paper, and using the phone book. And I help manage hydration and nutrition status in clients to help prevent delirium. To help prevent delirium, I design physical therapy programs for clients to perform daily. The goal of these programs include improving mobility, maintaining function, and keeping the client overall active. At St. Joseph's Care Group, seniors' health is a strategic priority which aligns with the Ontario Senior Friendly Hospital strategy. We strive to enable seniors to maintain optimal health and function while they are within our care so they can successfully transfer home or to the next level of care. This training program has provided us with the skills to successfully implement delirium screening at St. Joseph's Hospital. By the end of 2017, delirium screening will be fully implemented in all appropriate St. Joseph's Care Group services. Together, we make a difference.